Hello everyone. Well, in this video, I am going to discuss about the tags. Let me explain that concept with an example. Once you have completed the job of writing the automation script, you need to divide your automation script into categories or the groups. And based on the requirement, we can pick up any category or the group for the execution. For example, let's say I have the following categories. Confidence, smoke, regression, slow running and fast running. All my test cases or scenario will fall under any one or the multiple categories. Depending on my requirement, I will pick up any of the category or the group and it is going to execute all the test cases or the scenarios which belong to that particular category or the group. Sometime these categories are also called a suite. So we will have confidence suite, smoke suite, regression suite, slow running suite, fast running suite. This concept is implemented in the Karate framework with the help of tags. So let me show you how it is done. So inside our top level package, I am going to add one more package. And let me call it as tags. Inside this package, I am going to add the existing feature file what we have in our project. In order to divide the scenario or the feature into a category, I need to associate a tag with the feature or the scenario. And tag is nothing, it's just a user defined string. In order to specify the tag, we need to follow this syntax. So add the red symbol followed by the user defined keyword. So assume that these are our tags. So if I want to add the confidence tag with my feature, I will use add the red symbol followed by the name. You can add the tag at the feature level also as well as the scenario level also. You can add single or multiple tag with the feature as well as scenario. So this is how you associate the tag with the feature or with the scenario. Now coming back to the runner. So when we create the runner, we need to specify the tag in the runner also. And that's how the runner will know that which feature or the scenario it should pick up for the execution. So let me create the runner. There are methods available both in the builder class as well as in the runner class to specify the tag. So let me add the tag here, a runner dot tags. And I will specify the tag here. So in this case, when I execute this runner, it will pick up only those feature as well as the scenario, which are tagged with at the rate confidence. So this runner is going to pick up this feature file for the execution as well as this feature file for the execution. So let me run the runner. So let us look at the console. So you can see here it pick up only two feature file. That is this one as well as this one. Let me change the tag here. So in this case, it will pick up only those feature as well as the scenario which are tagged with at the risk smoke. So if you look at the console, it executed only three scenarios, which are this scenario, this scenario, as well as this scenario. You can also specify multiple tags in the runner. So the runner is going to run only those feature as well as scenario which are tagged with both. That is at the rate smoke as well as at the rate regression. 
so this serve as a and condition So if you look at the console, only two scenario which got executed and rest of them are got ignored. So the two scenario which this runner executed are this one and this one. So that's how by using the concept of tagging, you can create different suites in the Karate framework. Mm -hmm.